what uh what did you take from wednesday's dynamite ratings which dynamite ratings these days are kind of like i've i don't understand i can't predict what shows are going to do well it's 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 hard, it, it, it's, 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 hard, it's hard to predict because there's so many factors that's why i always say like the pay-per-views and the house show numbers are so much more of a reliable source of how you're doing um you know because tv it's like if you're a creature of habit even if you're not in, engulfed in the show you may watch it every week but you're not really engulfed in it as much um like when wcw was going down i mean it went down in pay-per-view like crazy it went down in um um you know live events like crazy i mean it went down in tv ratings of course significantly but not at the same level because people were just kind of used to watching the shows um you know aw's down although this week is way up from last year but you know generally speaking almost every week has been down from the year before but i mean as far as like yeah, they had a freaking loaded show with with marquee stuff and the rating was down. I mean, it's still look, they were, uh, you know, they lost to Vanderpump, which was way down. And it's the last episode. Um, and the only other thing that beat them was the uh, Mets and Yankees, which did a great number for baseball. But but of course, nothing compared to an NBA final like the week before. Mm -hmm. And they were down with a, a much stronger marquee show, stronger action show, you know. But yeah, they were down. Um, and, you know why you know i i you know i mean it's just the nature of the ratings i mean i understood why raw was down you know what i mean i mean when raw was down it's like the nba finals game five deciding game you know i don't, i didn't even take the number seriously uh, 0.46 compared to what they do it's so far down right but it's like so what you know what i mean it's like nba finals you can't wrestling can't beat nba finals and this week it's just like eh, it's a baseball game that did better than usual but you know, this was a marquee show and uh, whatever it, it, you know, I mean, I, I think everybody involved was hoping for a bigger number. I'm, you know, it's, it's still, like I said, it's still not, it's, it's absolutely not a bad number, but it is a disappointing number. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, obviously you're going to, you know, the bring up is that it's, it, and it really, t it, it, the number, the thing is the number from nine to 10, 15 was actually pretty decent the, from nine to 10, 15. The number wasn't that much different than the week before. It's very a, a little bit lower as far as the demo. You know, they were they were doing about 425 through the first five quarters. Last week was 435, you know, as far as the number of actual viewers, 18 to 49. So it's, it's in the same ballpark. I mean, yeah, you would think it would have been higher, but whatever. But then the last 45 minutes, you know, especially that tag, the, the um, you know, the Young Bucks and Hangman against the VCC, you know, great, great match, but but it was down. And is that because, you know, the baseball game really picked up? Um, I mean, it did. Um, but, I mean, is that the reason? I mean, AEW always goes down. And and the, the decline wasn't that much different than usual until the last quarter decline was big. But the baseball game was a close game, right? So is that something to do with it? You know, uh, you know I mean, I mean, it is. It, it is to a degree. I mean, is it a degree? How big? I don't know. You know, it's like you... You don't know. But I mean, if something gets hot or something's hot on, one, on another channel, will that affect your wrestling rating quarter hours? Absolutely. So um, but whatever. I mean, if 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 the match was something that people desperately, desperately wanted to see, it would hold up better. And it, it wasn't. So, you know, I'm not you know, it's just the reality of the situation. It yeah, happened. I was wondering if you thought if had they flipped the main event and the opener around if that if the title match would do you think would have held the audience a little bit not, you, you mean, well it's not the non-title match the not the minutes. yeah the the mjf match well i think they couldn't do it because of the nature of how long it was and also they want to put mjf first um you know thinking that um you know that he's going to draw the best um if they had flipped it i think it would have been i think it would have been exactly the same mm. i really do I, you know, it could be wrong, but the, the forces, the forces in those last 45 minutes on whatever competition was, were going to be there in the last 45 minutes, no matter who was there. Could it have held up a little better? Yeah, it wasn't, but I doubt it would have held up much differently, but a little bit, you know, you could argue it and we'll never know. Just the fact that he rarely ever wrestles on TV for one made that unique and a little bit more special to me in my eyes. But, but, but. Even so, in the um, you know the opening kickoff in the first couple of quarters, they did well, but they didn't go through the roof. It wasn't like their promo the week before, which which did go through the roof. Mm -hmm. um, 
you know, and again, I mean, right. If people go like, ah, maybe people don't watch 35, 30 minute match. And actually, you know, they, they, like I said, the first, the first 75 minutes of the show did well. And the last 45, you know, fell. And um, that's just the nature of the beast. But I wouldn't like worry about the number. I mean, you know, and, 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 you know, it also could be, um, maybe people think the big show this week is on, is on Saturday night. I don't mm-hmm. know. It is, you know, I mean, you know, there is again, you know, um, it could, it could be a little bit, I don't know. Um, you know, because I do think that, um, when you have two big shows, I do think dynamite, I mean, theoretically dynamite should go down a little bit if, if, um, collision is a really big show just by the nature of it. When raw, when SmackDown started, um, raw numbers did drop, you know, I mean, that it happened at the same time. So, and it wasn't that, um, you know, they were still hot. It was still, you know, it was not the end of the world or anything like that at the time that that was happening. You know, when, when things, it was before the collapse, you know, the, what I would call the 2000s collapse from the, from the real big heyday. But, um, you know, time will tell. But yeah, I was, uh, I, you know, it was not a, a, a super rating, but, you know, at the end of the day, um, it's, 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 it's the position that they're usually in. And um, I think that the week before, I mean, the week before number was outstanding, you know, considering the competition and whatever, you know, this week. You can go in there. There's, you can always look at it in certain ways. Um, you know, and it, again, if you look at it compared to the year before, what the show did, the number looks great. But you know mm-hmm. what? Um, that I, I, I look at the, you know, the week before in the competition, and uh, you know, it wasn't as good. Uh, but show was great, and a great show itself often doesn't draw the doesn't draw the ratings. But it, you know, because people don't know ahead of time. But this one did have the lineup, like. It, it really did. I mean, MVP, I mean, um, uh, MJF and Adam, Adam Cole, and then the, uh, you know, the six man. Um, and, you know, you, I mean, I don't think the women's title match was that big because Sky Blue is not really established. But, um, and they, the, but most of the other stuff was, was pretty decent to good on that show. Actually good. So, yeah, I mean, uh, disappointing number. This plaque. I'm still yeah. waiting for this stupid plaque. Yeah, Bischoff. Paul and Bischoff or who? What in God's name is going on? Uh oh. Who let you in here? Everybody's favorite. Come over here. You can't even be seen. What? Oh my God. Oh! Happy days here for Brian Alvarez. There it is. Presented oh, at that. F4W Online for passing 100,000 subscribers. Uh huh. I want to give Oreo a hug. Come here, you big fat whale. Yes. <laughs> Thank you to everybody hey! out there. Uh oh. Hey! Uh, what are you doing? Brian? Oreo? Hey, oh. I'm taking over the show! Oh no. Dom! Oreo. Hit that music, brother! Ah, oh, the hell with it. You know what? It's Monday. It's dance party. No, When can you have this much fun on a Monday on Wrestling Observer Live? I think we may have started something new here. I hate that whale! If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.